Like many exotic enthusiasts, one predator is not enough to satisfy Mark's desire for the dangerous and mysterious. This is a Colombian red-tailed boa. She's about seven, eight years old. Her name is Rocky, Rocky Balboa. They can vary a lot in their color. She has bronze. This is one of South America's largest snakes, the green anaconda being the bigger. As an arboreal snake, Colombian red-tailed boas are natively found living in the treetops. They have the fastest strike of any snake and can easily catch monkeys and birds out of trees. She's almost eight feet long. She's strong enough that she could constrict enough to keep my chest from expanding to take in breath. So it's a very, very powerful snake. Even as a trained animal handler, Mark is not immune to the power of these highly dangerous snakes. Caught alone and unaware, he experienced their predatory nature and powerful grasp. I have had incidents before. When I was a zookeeper, I had a much larger one than this that didn't want to go back in its cage. And the snake did not want to let me go. It did not want to go back in the cage. And I struggled with the snake for well over an hour. I could not get to my radio. I was able to get the upper hand on it. I think I just literally had more energy than it did. And I was able to literally take it off like a pair of pants and slide it down. But when I was done, I can't remember but only a few other times where I was so exhausted in my life. These are the strongest animals and their musculature and the way they hold on is different than anything else. I've been bitten by large snakes like this before and they're so fast that you don't even realize that you're bitten at first because it's so quick that even your nerve endings don't fire right. Honestly, you think, was I just bitten? And then you realize that you've got 60, 70 tooth marks in your arm from a snake like this and it's a half inch deep it bleeds for quite a long time before your blood clots, and it does hurt. Imagine having 60 hypodermics all in one short, small area. This is not a domesticated or tame animal. You never know when you're gonna have a bad day with that animal, you just have to know the animal. I, I can kind of tell with my animals when, when they're not feeling good or anything. She's doing fine, she's, she's having a great time. If she were not, she would be closed up and, and tight. Perhaps the most widely feared of Mark's collection is his tarantula. While its venom won't kill you, the tarantula's razor-sharp fangs and large hairy body make it infamous around the world. I don't know that I'm gonna be holding her. She just bit into this. And let me tell you what, it was quite something. She just dug her fangs right in that wood. I've held her before, but boy, she just drove them right in. This is a Chilean rose hair tarantula, a very common tarantula available in pet stores. They typically have a reputation as being a really calm spider. This is a female. Females can live a lot longer than males, up to 30 years. Males are short, seven to nine years. And I've never been bitten by a tarantula. Don't ever want to. <laughs> she has half inch fangs. The venom, though, is described as being relatively benign. The bite is what hurts. I mean, having half inch fangs, two of them. And spiders are really soft. But what they do when they bite is they grab really powerful and they bite and let go. That powerful grab is tremendous. Probably the snake and the spiders are the most fearful animals that I have, that I show. I am not a cat person, a wild cat person, small or large cat, and I'm not a primate person. I am completely against those type of animals. Big cats, primates, they're too smart for their own good, and they're dealing with an animal that matures like a human being, except they're a wild animal, and so when something turns 15 and their testosterone blooms four times greater than a human being and an animal that's only 30 or 40 pounds, 
and you yank the chain around the neck of that animal one too many times and that animal wants to be dominant in a troop, you're in trouble. I worked with primates too long and um, they definitely are not a pet. This is something you can control, you can take care of. Uh, primates are not something for everybody, for anybody. Thank you.